Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one. So today we're going to revisit why men should never, ever date or deal with single moms, ever, All right? But before we do that, guys, please remember to like, subscribe, drop a comment. It really helps to keep this channel going. And yeah, guys, so there is a story today in the news, and it was basically about an episode of Dr. Phil that just aired. It was about this lady... She's older now, but she lied about her mom's boyfriend doing bad things to her. And this guy has done 25 years in prison. And now she's coming clean and saying, oh, well, you know, uh, I, I, I lied. And, you know, uh, I, I was forced by the courts and I feel so bad. So I'm trying to get him out of court. But guys, I mean, this guy moved in with this single mom, which he's an idiot for, but... Uh, she she didn't like how how strict he was, so she went to the school because the school told her that you can call the cops and get him kicked out. And she called the cops. The next thing you know, dude's in prison. So let's look at the story first, and then we'll listen listen to some of the clips from the from the actual episode here. But anyways, it says. When Alyssa, that, that's the woman who lied, when Alyssa was five years old, her mother's boyfriend of 10 months, John Kinsel, moved into their home. She says, I never liked John. He was strict. I wanted him gone. I wanted him out of our lives because he made our lives mis miserable. And this is Alyssa on the left, on the screen. She says that in fourth grade, after learning about stranger danger in school, she came home and told her mom that John had touched her. She says, I was taught that the police would, would come, he would, he would be gone, and then he would be out of our, our lives. So the school taught her this, right? Uh, which is a good thing, but one that, once again, things can have good intentions and be abused. Here you go, guys. John was convicted and sentenced to life in prison without parole based on her court testimony only. So they didn't have any other evidence, just her testimony. However, nine years later, an 18-year-old Alyssa walked into the DA's office and said she wanted to recant her testimony. Um, in her first on-camera interview, Alyssa tells her story. So then she goes on Dr. Phil, and Dr. Phil kind of grills her a little bit about what happened. So let's just jump into this real, real quick. Did this man touch you? No. Did no. he rape you? No. Did he in any way violate you sexually? No, sir. Ever at any point? No, never. This is your first on-camera interview. So she just said no to all of this. And what she was saying in the earlier part also, too, is if you watch the whole clip, is that when she came clean, the, um, the, the mom's boyfriend was still in jail all of these years later. So, so when she was 18, she came, came clean. And this guy is still in jail many, many years after. Why now? Why here? There's only so much that you can live with. And John has a new attorney that is speaking for him and moving mountains that his old attorneys never would. I, I don't know. We're here. At the time of trial, uh, you, you said what you said as a child. And um, children do things for childish reasons. Uh, um, I am uh, not going to hold an adult responsible for childish decisions. And but the thing about that, yes, she was a little kid. But if you actually watch the clip, and I'll drop the link in the description, she doesn't really, um, she's still at some point not really acting like she was the cause. She's, she's still kind of ducking the accountability. And childish things. What was said, if it was a lie, uh, was a terrible thing to do. 
There's no question about that. And you know that. You don't need me to tell you that. That's why you're here. That's why this has been eating away at you. If, in fact, you're telling the truth now, you're saying, I'm a liar. I've lied under oath. I've lied in court. I've lied in written statements. I'm a liar. And so the question that people have to focus on is, well, when are you lying? Are you lying then or are you lying now? Absolute facts, guys. You know, she lied then. What's going to stop her from lying, lying now? And that's the thing. Once a liar, always a liar. And once a cheater, always a cheater. Once, a, If anyone does those types of things, they're never going to stop doing it. So I don't know if she's telling the truth now. All I know is that she's admitting to lying and putting a guy in jail for over 20 years. It's been really hard over the years. I've had to watch my younger brother grow up without his father. Uh, John has other children that, because of what I said, it took it away from him. It, he was gone. He All because he decided to date a single mom and move in with her and then deal with her and her daughter and her, her daughters. And, that got him caught up, and if we believe her for no reason whatsoever. He has missed so much. So you do feel guilty about it? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and you could feel guilty about it even if he had done it. You could feel guilty about him being in prison for life without parole even if he had done something to you. Yeah, yes. Guys, life without parole, all based on just her testimony. Life without parole, that's bonkers. So that's what prosecutors and judges and people have to weigh and take into account. You took a lie detector test, what was the result? Inconclusive. Inconclusive. Yes. Uh, why do you think that was the case? I chalked it up to my nerves. Well, here's your sworn statement. Uh, recanted statement on October 20th, 2005. Question, what brought this statement forward? Alyssa, my mom and I had gotten into an argument one day. I remember so many details during court, during the trial, and now those details, I can't even remember, not even a quarter of them. And the ones that I do remember, they don't make sense. So even she admits that her testimony it didn't even make any sense, and the guy still got convicted, guys. This is crazy, and this is why you don't believe just anyone about anything and you don't put yourself in a situation where you're dating a woman who has kids especially a daughter that'll pull this on on you like me saying that he raped me numerous times at my grandfather's house i slept in bed with my grandma most nights and on the other side of the house from him there was no way for him to get to me there were 10 people living in the house my mom, we had gotten into an argument about a couple of things, and she was talking about her and John's relationship and about him being in jail, John's son, not having a father figure around because of it. And that's pretty much what brought it out. So let me ask you something. Um, when you talked about what he did to you, you were... Exactly how old? The first time? Yeah. I was eight. So guys, she said that he was doing stuff to her for five years. And uh, that's why you got so much time. Eight or nine. I was in fourth grade. And this was to a counselor at school? Yes. Okay. And as you describe these things to different people along the way, you were pretty graphic. Yeah, it was embellished over the years. Mm -hmm. But um, how did you have those things in your vocabulary? Uh, I was forced to do group therapy and one-on-one -on -one therapy with the Children's Advocacy Center. Uh -huh. And a lot of the things that I picked uh -huh. up, they definitely weren't in my home life. Uh, was things that I heard other people discussing in those therapy sessions. Do you? So they sent her 
to therapy. And she used the language that she heard there to make her story sound worse. That's crazy. And guys, I correct that. She didn't say that he did things to her for five years. That was, uh, that they're saying that the trial took that, that long. So, guys, let me know what you think. I mean, this simple story here. This guy was dating a single mom. The daughter didn't like him. So she decided, hey, great idea. I'm going to get him put, put in jail for the rest of his life crazy and the guy went to jail based on her testimony and her testimony alone and now they're trying to get him out of jail and the judge is stonewalling so even though she recanted her statement the judge is not letting him out so all right you guys let me know who you think like i said don't date single moms guys because you could end up like this guy all right you guys this is aj i'm out of here